Well, we're picking our corn and I guess we're gonna be carving a watermelon jack-o-lantern on Tuesday because we found watermelon. <laughs> Winter is definitely here, guys. It's time to get into beast mode. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. We're gonna sit right here, y'all, because it is so windy. It is crazy, so good afternoon to you. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. All that cold weather that's out west, it's moving in, y'all. No, I don't have any goat babies yet. But what we're doing here after I film this video is we have to go run a couple of quick errands. My husband's on vacation this week, so we're, we're having cute, cute time, you know, running to get items for the end of the world. <laughs> It's not funny. But long story short, we are getting a lot of things done this week, but um, here's the deal. None of the girls have had babies yet. Nothing significant yet, but this massive cold spell is starting to push its way in this afternoon. And then by Wednesday morning, we're gonna be, it says 27 degrees. I'm not real excited about that. I may be pulling all-nighters in the barn. I've done that before. I've slept in the barn at four degrees with mamas and brand new babies with the heat lamp. So whatever it takes, we will do again. That's what we do. That's what homesteaders do. You sleep out in a field when it's freezing temperatures because you know that mama's going to drop that calf, right? It's just what happens. So, But anyway, welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's get right to it today. I'm not going to pull any punches. And, uh, you know, I try to be as normal as I normally am, you know, you know, I, we talk about funny things. We have moments of laughing together or we do some baking and, you know, I try to encourage you to make sure you're doing all the things that you need to be doing every day. But I, let's talk about this very seriously. You're going to either love this video or you're going to despise me. Um, that's going to be the way that this goes because I'm going to tell you where we're at in my personal opinion. And I have to tell myself this as well um, because we're in a very tough spot as a nation as we watch the world around us. Guys, it's just crumbling down around us. Uh, we are not supposed to be fixated on this world. We are not of this world. If you are a Christian and if you are holding on to your faith as we are all doing the very best that we can to do so because we know and understand the times that we are living in. But at the same time, we I think we all have these struggles with what's normal. The world that we knew as normal and better, um, folks, I hate to say this, but it's gone. That doesn't mean that good times can't still exist. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't have great times with your friends and family, but it may have to be different. I think this is the biggest deal for folks uh, right now is to understand that, nor what is it? Normal's not coming back. Jesus is, but here's the thing. You don't know when Jesus is, okay? Remember, nobody has the timeline on that. I don't care what equations they pull out in front of you. They don't know. They don't know. You're not supposed to know. Um, but this is the deal. It's time to go into, um, you can call it bug out mode. That's what I'm going to call it because I think that's what most people will identify with in terms of what they've heard. If you say go into beast mode, they just think you're trying to, you know, work out and get fit. We well, need to be doing that too. Uh, as best we can. What Improvement is what we're looking for. It's going to help you sleep better. It's going to help you manage your stress better. It's going to help you be able to maneuver better and to get out of bad situations better. The more, don't look at it as I have, this is Patira talking to herself here. Don't look at this at, you know, trying to lose a little belly fat and look cuter in the, that little black dress. No, 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 no. No, I'm trying to be able to hide by, behind that tree a little bit better if I need to. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Guys, you're in prep mode, but you are ultimately in bug out mode now. That's where you need to mentally be. Every day of your life, 
Uh, it's not just, okay, I'm going to pay off a little bit of debt and I'm going to walk and I'm going to put some extra tomato sauce on the shelf. And no, 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 no. You need to be on fire. Like I'm packing up today and I'm heading to my bug out location. Now you may not be headed. You may be at your bug out location. I'm at mine, but I'm in bug out mode as of today. I went to a party yesterday, um, and I found myself, str I struggle in, in I, I drew, I, I'm just going to admit this. I struggle trying to be what we have known in the past as normal, you know, talking about normal stuff like we used to five years ago, 10 years ago, all the normal things that we used to do, which maybe, you know, this is all by God's plan anyway, is a lot, maybe some of the things that we did 10, 15 years ago, even though there technically wasn't anything wrong with it, you know, God is now plucking us out and separating us saying, nope, I want you doing this now. I have a hard time sitting around talking about cinnamon roll recipes and, um, what's on uh, entertainment tonight or you know who's the new judge on uh the voice or whatever all the and you know i understand that we all need mental breaks so i'm not i'm not i'm not putting you down for that okay but i don't even have an interest in knowing or understanding or talking about a lot of these things anymore Good. no cinnamon rolls are pretty important okay we can do that <laughs> but i'm just saying you've got to be in bug out mode every day of your life what are the things right now that you have not accomplished to make your home or your location or your family more prepared or safer no more of this well hopefully but now if you're going to sit there and say well you know i'm trying to move from you know i'm moving locations that's a bigger situation i get that but even with that you may be in, in a transition right now. I was, we were that way in 2020. Remember, we moved from one homestead and moved to this one. Thank God we did it when we did, because there's no way if it was last year into this year, we would have never been able to have afford, afforded that as a family. So we listened to God and we listened to our guts and we moved with it. It was mass. I didn't even understand at the time what I felt like I was being told to do. It was time to move. If you've watched in my past videos, uh, back at the end of December of 2019, before all this crap hit, we were out in the field and I had just, I literally had just gotten my new milk cow and it was like the Lord, it's like I turned around and I looked at my little farm and I heard, it was like a field of dreams moment. And I, time to move. And I, you know, and us being humans, it's like we want to argue with that. We want to argue with ourselves. You know, we, we see and hear things and we go, I know that's correct, but why, why now? We are so selfish in our own worlds that we have a hard time as humans conceptualizing everything that's going on around us. Guys, we're in an economic free-for-all. Free-for-all, free-fall. You're looking at a two-front war right now that we, oh, we just have to stick our noses into, right? And we want to traumatize every wife and mother out there for the idea that their son. Now, I know that we've talked about girls, too, being drafted, young women. How does that settle with you? Are they being drafted right now? No. How's enlistment going, though? I'm right there with you. We have to be in bug out mode. The, this is where I find my sanity. You may not. Somebody somebody earlier today was telling me that I drank too much Kool-Aid. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'm pretty doggone sure, sir, that you probably don't lift a single weight. You probably are not trained to use any type of self-defense tools. And I'm sure your favorite meal might be a bag of Doritos in mom's basement. If I had to bet money on that, I'd say this, this, the, the odds are pretty high. And so, therefore, we have to understand that we can't do anything to save these people anymore. We're going to pray for them. We're going to speak out, and we're going to hope and pray that they listen. But they're not on our radar anymore. They can't be. They're a wa I don't want to say they're a waste of time, but they are a time suck. We are now entering a brand new phase. We've actually been here, but I have felt a massive shift like you probably have. I'm not the only one in very, very recent weeks, and I don't think... And it felt this way even prior to October 7th. It's like we were just waiting for some sort of catalyst. Now, I'm not going to get into debating all the things that are going on with that because 
it's never ending. But we pray for peace, that is for sure. And let's hope that that comes. It'll take a miracle, I think, at this point. Or it's going to shift on us as it was planned to all along so that something else, see, all this over here, jazz hands, jazz hands over here. Look, 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 bing, bing, bing. Boop, 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 boop. While something else is happening over there, don't think that some these things are not occurring because we are dealing with, we are facing and dealing with so much evil. It takes advantage of every single opportunity. Never let a crisis go to waste, my dear. So what are you doing today, mom and dad? Mamma and Papa, what are you doing, Nana? What are you doing, Auntie? The click is here. The shift is here. I understand tomorrow is Halloween and you've got a, a fall party planned. That's great. Yeah, you should start thinking about making my Aunt Judy's sweet potato casserole in a couple weeks for Thanksgiving because it's the best you're ever going to make. I know. It's on my community page. On my community, scroll down. I put the whole recipe up about a week ago. <laughs> I may make a video on it. I'm not telling you to not do the normal soothing things, but you need to accept that you are no longer in normal anymore. That's gone. It's not coming back. The new normal that you probably um, are waiting on is not going to be well received either. It's not. It's not. I'm always open to a miracle and I'm praying for that really hard every day and I want it to surprise me and I want it to surprise you. But I'm telling you, the quicker, the faster, the um, that you can get your act together and get things moving as of yesterday, you better do it. It's now. It's now. Now, when I say bug out, like I said before, I'm saying that as I'm using that phrase. I mean, some people may be actually moving to more safer locations because they see the writing on the wall. They see the things that could be coming down the pike and they're like, you know, this is a major shift. To actually go into what I would call a bug out mode to the point where you are as prepared as you feel you are ever going to be, which really never, no one ever reach, reaches that point. But you are to a point where you're like, I have overall done the very best that I can to sustain a long, difficult winter or anything that you feel that's coming, especially in the next year. Guys, it takes a long time to get to that type of status. So if we just float just like we are today, which is the entrance gateway to the bug out phase, that's what I'm calling it. I'm going with that. It takes money. It takes time. It takes grit. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of sacrifice to get to that point. So hope and pray that you have entered this phase and that it holds the pattern of which we are today for as long as you need to get to the point where you are ultimately very comfortable. It's over. It's done. Let go of the past. Go ahead and cry. Mourn it. But don't, do, don't, don't stay there. Don't stay there. You've got to be over here now. And once that you have your moment and you say, okay, and you put that in your lockbox of your heart, you need to be over here, mom. You need to be over here, dad. Your children and grandchildren in your community need you far more than you can guesstimate right now. I know this. I don't know how bad things are, but I, am, I have been willing to accept that it's far worse than I can imagine. And so therefore that keeps me in prep mode beast mode, bug out mode. Take advantage of every opportunity right now. I will tell you that real quick here in the state of Tennessee, up until tomorrow at midnight, Halloween day, October 31st, you can still buy your groceries and grocery items and food items tax free. One last reminder. So if you, uh, you need to go get a couple of you know, flat of green beans, a flat of corn, some extra flour, sugar, whatever, you're tax free through tomorrow. get on it. Get on it. Like, subscribe, and share. We've got to get moving. Uh, I will keep you posted on the goat babies. I don't know. <laughs> it can be, to, it can be a lot of people are writing to me saying, you know, it's going to be like super cold and a full moon. By the time you wake up on Wednesday morning, you're going to have five goat babies out there. <laughs> we might. So we got to start bringing them in. We'll keep you posted. Fingers crossed. Just say it with me. It's time to switch gears 
and go with it because it is now time to be in bug out mode. Like, subscribe, and share. I thank you so much for being here. Stay safe. And um, I know a lot of people are doing lots of things right now with fall parties and Halloween and different things like that. I would use a lot of discernment for multiple reasons, questioning your own self and your family on exactly what you're doing, how you're doing it, where you're going, how many people are you going to be around, and what decisions are you making. If there is something that you can actually do that's more fulfilling in terms of your preparedness for your family, that's how I would be spending my Halloween. Just saying. Love y'all. We'll talk to you later. We'll keep you posted. Thanks for being here. I love you. Give me hugs. I need it. <sighs> Godspeed, and we'll see you in the next video.